Hello everybody, this is Mike Gosson with Vectology, and today we're going to learn how to make a little watermelon in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Now let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now I'm going to use L for the ellipse tool. Let's go ahead and pull that out there. I'm going to change that to a, a green here. Okay, looks good there. It's a good color green. I'll take that stroke off there for now. I'm going to control all drag to make a copy. that overlay and to a white I'm gonna drag it over here to the front okay so just kind of position that right the copy control alt drag again make that to zero opacity let's blend that out there let's change our blend steps to about maybe let's see 40 is good there that'll be good okay I'm gonna drag that handle out make it a little bit wider Let's hide the artboard a little bit. I don't want it's kind of distracting there. Okay, now let's go ahead make some new layers here. The one for highlight. I'm gonna zoom in there a little bit for you guys to see that. Another one for details. Now let's go ahead and use our brush here. It's a generic brush. I'm going to go ahead and make the actual texture for the for the you know the the watermelon has a little texture around it. I'm going to select this here. Let's bring that down to maybe 20%. That's fine. Okay. Now let's bring this down with the warp tool. make sure those kind of fit the actual contour of the watermelon there we go it's looking pretty good there you can see the watermelon starting to form really nicely there let's drop that down a little bit let's change the color up to a little bit lighter gray there you go I like that a lot better and start working on the, the actual color of this make this a little bit darker here and a little darker green so I can have more to play with I want more shadows this time there you go now it's gonna look a little bit more like a darker colored bring this bounce slide up here my warp tool again to drop that down into to shape looking the way I want it to so copy out here I'm gonna drop this one in here like so make the, the middle one to zero opacity I'm gonna blend the reverse way there we go now I color that to white now I got my little nice little halo of light around the, the watermelon okay I'm gonna warp this into shape really quick Very good. Let's bring that down to opacity. Now let's go ahead and work on the clipping mask here. I'm going to select the background, make a copy, drop it on top. Now I use the clipping mask, clip mask that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on the actual drop shadow of the um, watermelon here. A little black square. Let's knock that to the back. One more smaller copy, make the, the larger one to zero opacity and blend that out. Okay, it's looking good there. Let's drop that up higher. Let's get rid of those little edges in here. Some little scragglies. It seems we've come to the end of our tutorial now. Um, my name is Mike Gosson with Vectology. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. 
and thank you very much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.